First question is from Austin Hagander. I've heard the dangers of upright rows, but see them in map split. Are they safe? Yeah, so it's funny. Uh, a long time ago, Crossing I don't know the, how. Yeah, there was some controversy. I don't know how this became a thing. Like I remember. Yeah, what was it? It's the uh, it's uh, upper cross syndrome. That's why because everybody's rounded forward and they're just mm. the, the argument was it just makes it worse and it's, it's also exaggerating the issue. Yes, oh. and so that was the idea behind why. So uh, crossing the road's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't yeah. cross the road. Yeah, either. I mean it's just there's. You can, we can make a case for every single exercise uh, that it's you know has there, risk involved, right? In it, like but behind the back presses and all these things. Look, yeah, if you can, upon. if you can perform a movement with good control, good stability, and good mobility, that exercise is not dangerous. I don't care what the exercise is. I really don't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the exercise is. If you could do it right and you have good control, you've got the mobility, you're stable. It's safe. So now that being said, exercises all have a kind of general risk factor and reward factor. Some exercises have a lot of risk and not a lot of reward for doing them. And then other exercises are the reverse. Upright rows, are they, uh, is there more risk associated with an upright row than say like a, a, bar, a dumbbell overhead press or a dumbbell lateral? Yes, it's more complex. There's this you know, internal rotation of the shoulder that you're coming up. And some people may have issues with the rotator cuff or require some decent mobility. But here's the deal. If it hurts you, don't do it. If it doesn't hurt you and you can do it right, it's a great exercise. Upright rows have been around forever. Yeah. It was a staple in bodybuilding routines back in the day. It's been a staple in my workouts for a very long time. It's actually something that I, I still do every week, well, once a week. And, and if there's any exercise that you ever do in any of our programs – that bother you uh, or feel weird or you can't perform well, uh, refer to MAPS Prime and Prime Pro. And that's why we created those is yeah. because, of course, there's going to be somebody who feels that has shoulder impingement or has some sort of issue or here's clicking in their shoulder. Or, that's exactly what happened to me. Yeah. Like I, I had that from benching like too heavy too often. And it, it, it got to a point where like I, I, definitely couldn't put a whole lot of load there. And so I started doing upright rows and I'd hear clicking and then pain started to set in. And so, you know, immediately I could have thought it was the exercise, right? It's that exercise, that movement, you know, that's the issue, but it was a lot of things preceding that movement uh, that, that contributed towards that. So yeah, I had to work on, you know, mobilizing my shoulder joint and just doing the work there, but now I have no problem with it. Yeah. Dr. Brink always says it's not the exercise that hurt, hurt you. It's your body. Yeah. You know, and and again, there are definitely movements that require more skill, greater control, greater stability than other exercises, um, which means that, you know, the risk of injury is higher. You know, for example, Olympic lifts. Olympic, it's funny because nobody, you don't hear as many people, when I do an upright row or I put in a program, I get like, oh my God, upright rows are terrible for you. But then I see people doing snatches, you yeah. know, and cleans. And it's like, not that those are, bad exercises inherently but Which is those, way more risky the skill involved with those exercises is so high that the risk is of those exercises high. now if you do them right they're very safe yeah if you do them wrong which is very easy to do you can you can definitely hurt yourself um, the only reason you should avoid an exercise besides it in being inappropriate for your goals and your programming is if you can't do it uh, properly and if it causes pain um, or discomfort or it's exacerbating, um, a, a, a current issue. Other than that, because I mean, when I came up th as a trainer, I was told upright rows, don't do them. Uh, behind the neck presses, don't do them. I was also told don't bench press all the way down. I was also told don't squat below 90 degrees. This was actually taught yeah. uh, to us trainers. Yeah. Um, all of that is, t is absolutely terrible advice. If you only ever train in the things that you're, you're comfortable in and you never kind of work and try and challenge yourself to get better at the stuff you're not good at, very little. So what ends up happening is that line of the stuff that you can perform safely starts to, your body, as you get older, your body, whether you like it or not, will start pushing that line over a little bit. Unless you challenge it. Unless you challenge it a little bit, do you think that practicing 90 degree bench presses will keep your shoulders healthy forever? Yeah. No. Unless you have very robotic, predictable movement constantly. Yeah. You should probably work outside your ranges a bit. Yeah. And it's too bad too because um, I consider upright rows to be one of the best shoulder trap exercises. It was a staple among bodybuilders in the 
I'd say 50s, 60s, uh, and 70s for sure. Um, and it's just very effective if done properly. And it, but again, if it, if it hurts you, find out why. You know, don't just blame the exercise. Find okay, why can't I do this? Why is this hurting me? Figure it out. You can use a program like Maps Prime Pro. Um, solve the problem, and then be able to do some of the most effective exercises that uh, are known to man.